Now, we talked about last night in the papers section on the Advertiser Council in South Australia, the Northern Areas Council, which is one of the first in the country to have decided to scrap its acknowledgement of country. Well, hot on the heels of that, another South Australian council, this time in Adelaide, Playford Council in the northern suburbs, has joined them and they have decided that they will no longer have the acknowledgement of country at the beginning of their meetings. Now, uh, it was a heated meeting last night. Uh, I think there were three councillors voted against it. Uh, one of them said, you know, what are we doing wasting all this time debating this topic? Well, equally, what are we doing wasting all this time giving the acknowledgement of country that no one takes particularly seriously? But I, I really liked a comment made by the Deputy Mayor of Playford, Peter Rentoulis, who quite rightly noted it takes courage to do this because some people in the community, in society, would see this as some sort of racist attack, and that's far from what this is. And that's exactly right. It is entirely far from what this is. What this is really about is that we, over the last few years, have watched the acknowledgement of country creep into everything. It's in council meetings. It's an event in every you go parliament. to, right? And when you go to an event these days, it's not just the person who gets up and opens the event mm. who gives an acknowledgement of a country. It's every bloody person who gets up to speak afterwards. And why are they doing that? because they feel like they are obligated to do it. And once it's an obligation, it loses all meaning. So we've now seen two councils in South Australia say, no, we're not going to do it anymore. I feel like the tide is starting to turn. Mm. After the voice went down, which was basically the signal that, no, we don't want this stuff thrust upon us, people are starting to feel confident enough to come out and say what they've been thinking for a long time but worried would get them into a lot of trouble for saying. It's two in SA. You said last night there's one over in WA yep. that's considering doing it as well. I wouldn't be surprised to see an onslaught of councils and events and other outfits now saying, no, we're not going to put up with this bullying anymore. I reckon you're absolutely right. Some years ago, I was part of an organisation that were debating, should we do an acknowledgement of country at the beginning of our event? And I reckon I was ahead of my time. I said, no, don't do this. And the, the reason I said don't do it is not because we don't want to acknowledge or, or respect Indigenous people, but my question was, if you do this once, will you be expected to do this every single time you run an event? And they weren't sure but went ahead with it anyway. And then three or four years later, the discussion came back around to, do we need to do this? And no-one dared stop it for fear of being called racist. I think you're right. I think all it takes is for three or four local councils to say, we're not going to do this every single time anymore. They'll survive that initial media onslaught, a few people saying racist. Nothing happens. They... they carry on living life and then everyone else will think, OK, we've got permission well, no, now to, see to uh, pause press. this. I've yet to see bad press. Yeah, because everyone now, agrees simply, with it. Exactly. But most of the media are being left-leaning. You'd expect them to be like, oh, here we go after the referendum, the racists are coming out in force. The truth of the matter is it's welcome to country that is racist to me, I think, because by virtue of you inviting me to my own country, you're insinuating that it's not, not my yours. country and that somehow I am less Australian than somebody by virtue of the fact that their ancestors, not them, were here first hundreds of years ago. I mean, that is what's racist. That is what's pretty privileged, yeah. if you ask me. Like, oh, can't go to the opening of an envelope without us being acknowledged. It's like, I'm sorry, this makes absolutely a, no sense. A, a I, I find it racist. I hope we get it out of every single council, every single parliament, and that it stops trending with the corporates. Yeah. Like, these days, even board meetings. I've sat in some of the most bizarre situations where, again, they feel compelled mm. because somebody else has... I'll never forget going to the Anzac service at Wallara. This was before I was too new to Sydney to know that you don't go to Wallara. <laughs> it's too much of a lefty-leaning council. But every single person who got up to speak yep. at that dawn service opened with a welcome to country. And I was like, tell you what, someone's being recognised this morning, but it isn't jolly well the Anzac. Well, someone told me about a work staff meeting. There were five people in the staff meeting and every single one of them did an acknowledgement <laughs> of country before they spoke. But oh. the, the other thing that's interesting about Playford Council 
is as well as deciding we're not going to do an acknowledgement of country every single time, they've also decided when we do give an acknowledgement of country, we're also going to add that we acknowledge our forebears who helped to build and defend this great country. And they've also added that on the website. You know, we talked last night about how the acknowledgement of country is at the bottom of your, yeah. your web page. They've added that acknowledgement of not just Indigenous people, but uh, those who've helped to build modern Australia as well. So there is a shift. Well, can I can I just say I'm so glad it's South Australia setting the trend here as a, <laughs> as, a, as a proud Adelaide boy. It's always the South Australians who wake up first and get the ball rolling. And I really do hope the ball does get rolling. Because yeah. e even though the acknowledgement of country is a, a very short thing, it's the symbolism of it that we do it at a day in, day out, so many times... It's lost all meaning. Mm. I mean, you may as well stand up and go... Blah, 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 because that's about as much attention as people pay to it. Because yeah. they've already heard it, for Christ's sake.